So now I'm going to explain how a simple selector works in Patcher. So here I have this configuration of five options. So on the surface side, I have this knob that I've set to have five possible states. So zero, one, two, three, four, which means five options in total if we include zero. And to make this work, you need to set the knobs minimum and maximum values. So if you want to have five options, your minimum value is gonna be zero, and then your maximum value is gonna be four. And then you can also set the move speed to one or something a little bit lower so that this knob is gonna be easier to adjust. And after we have the knob set up, I've just loaded some instances of fruity balance in here but these are your options like these could be effects synths like what whatever whatever kind of option selector you want to make you can do that so and here in fruity balance i've activated the volume knob and the way that this is supposed to work is that when this knob is at zero this first option is going to go to full so to 100%. And when this knob is at the second option, this one is going to go to 100%, and this one is going to go back to zero. So only one of these is at full volume at a time, and all the other ones are always at zero. And to make this work, we can use the formula controller. So I have this set up here. So we're going to divide the knob into percentages. So this first knob right here, we're going to activate the A input, which I have activated here, and then you need to activate an output. And in the formula controller, I have this if statement, and this basically means that if A is equal to B, it's going to return 1. And one in this case means that this volume is going to jump to one or 100%. And in the formula controller, the A knob obviously represents whatever this knob is doing. So these are connected. As you can see, it'll change when I move this knob. And then the B knob's job is to specify at which percentage these individual fruity balances are going to go to the 100%. So in the first option, it's obviously going to be zero. So B is at zero. And when both of these are zero, like this statement tells it, it's going to return one. So this one is going to jump to 100%. And then over here in the other formula controller, this is the second option. So it needs to be 0.25, so 25%, because this knob is now at 25%. And if we go and look, this fruity balance is now at full volume. And if I change this, it's going to go to zero. So it's only at full volume in the 25% mark. And in the next one, it's going to be the next percentage, which is 50%, so 0.5. So in this way, you can create menus of different sizes when you divide the 100% into different amounts. So if I wanted to have six options, I would need to divide it by five so that I would have zero, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. And if I wanted to have four options, I would have 0%, 33.3%, 66.6% and 100%. And here in the last option, we can see that it's at one. And in the fourth option, it's at 75. So yeah, this is, this is like a basic way to make a selector in formula controller.